Hello friends, this time I'm taking you to a different location in Jamaica. Well, before that, let me welcome you to my travel channel. Uh, it's uh, Baskaran's Travel Rock BTV. We are in Rocklands Bird Sanctuary. This is uh, some 78 kilometers uh, away from Montego Bay, up in the mountain area, mountain region. Uh, with a small house. Um, the name is called Sanctuary, but it is not with multiple birds. Basically, they focus, they uh, no, protect hummingbirds uh, with a private ownership. Dancing dolls. Okay. I I really liked it as a dancing doll, uh, or they call it as a doctor bird. But definitely, the show was uh, unique and fantastic in front of my eyes, uh, which I could not even believe. So, this Dr. Bird, uh, the name came into existence because uh, it resembled the old fashioned doctor with a long coat and hat. Even some people believed that uh, it was because the way in which uh, it retrieves the nectar using the tails, uh, they call it. But however, uh, this bird is considered as a pride of Jamaica and it is endemic. Are there some of the facts about this? Uh, Dr. Bird is, uh, it breeds three times in a year with only two eggs each time and it takes uh, 17 to 20 days uh, for them to hatch. Flaps 180 times per minute which is very high. Sometimes they make this bird to sleep artificially to gain their energy because of throughout the day the amount of time it flaps uh, it loses its energy so they, they take care of these kind of things. Right? So this bird sanctuary is not a caged one, a captive uh, center for birds, right? Bird comes naturally to this place and goes in the evening. This is an uncaged uh, place for the birds. And they feel safe that yes, uh, no one is going to catch them is what uh, makes them more comfortable in this place and they never go anywhere else. As soon as you walk in with a nectar, not nectar, it's a sugar water. For them, it may be a nectar. So it's a sugar water. You just hold it horizontally till it drips and birds keep coming to you. I don't think it's a trained one. It is not trained. It is coming for its food and knows that there's a food and there's, they're thinking that there's no harm in coming here. And they feel safe that yes, uh, no one is going to catch them is what uh, makes them more comfortable in this place and they never go anywhere else. The center sees a very small uh, tourist foot, footfalls. When I was there, uh, it was uh, only a couple of people, myself and uh, one person from France was there. Uh, the thing. They said uh, not many people come. In fact, they were very surprised to see me uh, in that place. They were questioning me. How did you come here? How did you know about this uh, place? So normally when I, I choose a place, I study the location thoroughly and what all something unique, right? That is how I found this. Uh, after a taxi and came here uh, because there's no public transport and this is deep inside the forest area. So I don't want to get stranded uh, middle of the jungle. So I took a taxi, although it's worked out very cheaper for me. I use a taxi for the full day. I hope uh, you also enjoyed this. Let's catch up next time with a new location. Thank you.